म्यूचुअल इंडक्शन म्यूचुअल इंडक्शन राइट देर इज ए काइल देर इज ए काइल एंड अगेन देर इज ए काइल right there are two coils now in the coil if i change the current let us consider this is the first coil this is the second coil if i change the current in the first coil if i change the current in the first coil around the first coil there is a variable magnetic field because of variable magnetic field around the first coil there is a variable magnetic flux right in this surrounding of the first coil there is a variable magnetic field in that surrounding of the first coil the variable magnetic field is there suppose in the surrounding of the first coil there is another coil is there the same whatever the magnetic field changed here in the second coil also there is a same change of magnetic flux as there is a change of magnetic flux in the second coil there is a induced emf in the second coil therefore there is a current in the second coil such a phenomena is called mutual induction see first coil is there second coil is there in the first coil the current is changed in the first coil in the first coil the current is changed as the current is changed magnetic field is also changed magnetic field is changed there is a variable flux variable flux around the first coil there is a variable magnetic flux now whenever there is a variable magnetic flux is there nearby the first coil there is a second coil right therefore whenever the second coil is placed nearby the first coil means the second coil is in a region where the magnetic flux is produced thereby therefore the second coil is nearer to the first coil the variable magnetic flux also linked with the second coil in the second coil there is a variable magnetic flux thereby there is a induced emf that induced emf is produced then such a phenomena is called mutual induction now here in this case right first coil is connected to the ac current first coil is connected to the ac current and second coil is connected to the galvanometer second coil is connected to the galvanometer now here i am changing the current in the first coil there is a production of current in the second coil see i am changing the current in the first coil there is a production of current in the second coil actually in the second coil there is no connection of battery there is no connection of ac source now as i change the current as i change the current in the first coil there is a production of current there is a induced emf in the second coil such a phenomena is called mutual induction right where i am changing the current this is called primary current now this is called what to say secondary coil primary coil and the secondary coil now i am changing the current the current in the primary coil around this one what is the magnetic flux linked with the coil pi of p now there is a change in current that produces induced emf in the second coil therefore there is a second coil that is flux linked with the secondary coil is pi s now in this coil right now flux in the secondary coil the change in flux in the secondary coil change in flux change in flux in the secondary coil is directly proportional to current in the primary coil as we are changing the current in the primary coil 
right? Magnetic field and variable magnetic flux is produced. Around the first coil, variable magnetic flux. Nearby the first coil, there is a secondary coil. Thereby, in the secondary coil also, there is a variable magnetic flux. That variable magnetic flux is represented by phi s. Therefore, the variable magnetic flux in the secondary coil depends upon the current in the primary coil. Therefore, phi of s is equal to what to say some constant m into what to say ip. Now, this proportionality constant is called coefficient of coefficient of mutual induction. Coefficient of mutual induction. Right? Now, here in this case, <coughs> now here in this case, according to the Faraday's law, according to the Faraday's law, induced EMF is equal to, induced EMF is equal to, what do you say, N into what do you say, D phi by DT, N into D phi by DT. Or simply that is E is equals to D phi by DT, E is equals to minus D by DT, D by DT. What do you say? Phi is equals to M into IP, M into IP. Therefore, E is equals to minus M into that is D IP by DT. Therefore, M is equals to what do you say? Minus E by D IP by DT. Therefore, this is the coefficient of mutual induction. Now, the coefficient of mutual induction, if di p by dt is equal to 1, if di p by dt is equal to 1, m is equal to what to say, minus e by 1, that equals to m is equal to what to say, minus e. If rate of change of current in the primary coil is unity, then the EMF produced in the secondary coil is called coefficient of mutual induction between the two coils. The coefficient of mutual induction between the coils here in this case. Therefore, E is equal to D phi by DT. What is the change of flux? This is called phi S. Therefore, phi S is equal to M into IP. Therefore, M is equal to minus E by D I pi by DT. If D I P by DT is equal to 1, that is rate of change of current in the primary coil is unity. Whatever the EMF produced in the secondary coil is called coefficient of mutual induction, right? Or mutual induction. Again, the unit of mutual induction, again, Henry. This is also represented by H.